Hi, this is a tutorial on how to use Bitwig to remote control FL Studio via the FL VSTi multi plugin. First, let's put some uh, empty tracks in, which uh, you can use instrument track, but I'm just going to drag and drop some MIDI in. No instruments attached. So. That's what that sounds like. Terrible. <laughs> and let's just get in new. Okay, so the group, we're going to call it FL Studio. And what we do is we send these patterns to FL Studio to be played. So, first of all, we need to add the FL Studio VSTi instrument, the multi, and add that in. Now, to get to FL Studio, you need to just click on the FL Studio logo, and you're in. So, we'll change this to um, something a bit more interesting. Let's say Citrus, and we'll do another one. Uh, let's just change this to acid six or something um, and we'll change this one to bass drum so that'll do and we take note that master channel is on fl1 and these are all set up in their channels accordingly the number correlates to the channel coming from Bitwig to play the appropriate instrument in FL Studio. So let's take a look. We'll solo this one. So we want to send that to FL Studio pattern uh, instrument number one. So if we select the channel, go into the Drop down here on plugins, choose your FL Studio multi plugin. plugin. Uh, if you've renamed it, it would be called something different, but once you drill in, it should be the same. And that's it. So you should notice there's a one here, which will be channel or instrument one from FL Studio. So let's try that. Same for number two, we just put it, route it into FL Studio, we change that to channel two. And you can do all the usual stuff you do with FL Studio and so on. However, if you want to control them individually, you will need to add FL Studio VSTi for each one. But this is a good way just to get it all under control and 